G'day kids, Ozzy here. Now just before we get stuck into today's episode, if you haven't seen it already, our merchandise is now live on our website, aussieforkids.com, where you can get all of your favorite Aussie items, like the Aussie hat, made especially for kids' heads, or the mini replica Aussie tea. How cool is that? All for our mini Aussie fans. And if you love Aussie that much, you can even get three things in a combo, a hat, a shirt, and a sweatband, all on our website. But one of my favorite items is this one, the Aussie socks, with this little touch here. Stay keen, kids, as always. Available right now on our website, aussieforkids.com. In the meantime, kids, enjoy this episode, and stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi! Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day Aussie. G'day Aussie. G'day Aussie. G'day Aussie. G'day Aussie. G'day Aussie. G'day kids, it's Aussie here. Today we have come along to Inspiration Dance Academy and I've got lots of friends joining me as you can see. Not just do I have lots of girls from Inspiration Dance Academy, but I have some of the best break dancers in Australia, because today we're gonna to learn all about break dancing. But I've been told already that it's not called break dancing. What is it called? Let me just introduce you guys first. We've got Rachel and Ty. It's not called break dancing. What's it called, Rachel? Please call it breaking. So yeah, breaking and I'm a B-girl and this is B-boy. Okay, for the, for the parents out there that want to get their kids into breaking, where can they go and find out some more information about it? Uh, so the local governing body for Australia is ausbreak.org, A-U-S-B-R-E-A-K.org. Okay. And we're actually currently working on a syllabus that we're going to distribute out to uh, families and studios and that kind of stuff. Otherwise, the best approach is definitely to find a local studio in your area that teach breaking as one of their classes. Amazing. Yeah. All right, so I think that now is a good time to do maybe some warm ups. Yeah. And then get stuck into our first breaking <laughs> lesson. Kids, you keen? Yeah. All right. With you guys, let's All go. Right. With breaking, the most important things that we need to use in our body are probably our joints in terms of our wrists, our shoulders, our hips, and our knees. So we'll just start with a little bit of a wrist warm up. So I just get you to roll like this first. And now I want you to shake out. And open and close. And one more time, roll. And I want you to pull your fingers towards you. So you're gonna turn your hand to face as if you were getting your nails done. And then, yeah, pull your fingers towards you. Keep your arms straight, keep your arms straight. So you should feel a stretch just underneath your forearm here, yeah? And let's go to the other side. Cool, shake it out. And we'll go for shoulders, so open and close. And try not to hit the person next to you. <laughs> and go up and down. And we'll go for circles on one arm. So arm circles, we'll go for five, two, three, four. Change direction. One, two, three, four. And other side, we go backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Back the other way. One, two, three, four, and five. We'll go for some hip circles now. And change direction. And we go for knees, knees together. It's probably stuff that you guys already do. And back the other way. In breaking in particular, they usually have like poses 
they accentuate their hands in a different way, right? Like, so for example, maybe in jazz or commercial, we do things like this, right? But with breaking, we want to have strong, powerful poses as if you're taking a photo every time you dance. So when you use your hands, this is another way to uh, give yourself a character. So how a cypher is going to work, what we're going to do is we're going to make a big circle and we will all take a turn. Actually, we'll make two. We'll make two circles. Yeah. So it's not so uh, intimidating. Yeah. And we just want each person to just have a go. See if you can put the steps that you learned in today. So you've got your two step, right? You've got your salsa step. You've got the cross step. And maybe you could even change it up or you could even change and do some of the other dance styles that you know. But try add some style and attitude. Cool. And nothing is wrong, right? It's just no, nothing is wrong. It's about just trying. It's right. just yeah. about trying. Who's keen? Yeah, yeah. let's get into it. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so she said, yeah, we can all do it. We can all do it in a refresher. Yeah. Then you've got salsa step. So you're going to go Five. kick and step, kick and step, step. kick and step. Then we've got cross step. We go over, right. kick and, and over, kick there. and you're over, sure kick and over, kick it's not about getting it perfect. No, it's just about getting it started. Yeah. 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 yeah, you can make your own. Yeah, yeah, even if you All forget right. them. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And I'm gonna do the kick. Yeah, I'm gonna hop over. Nice. Hey, awesome. Nice. This way, I'll go last. Okay. I'll go last. Okay. And everybody, uh, let's clap. One, yep. clap. Good. Hopefully the music will come back. One, two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh. Just try. Oh, Remember, just nice. practice. Just try. Oh, okay. Awesome. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. 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 Alright, feels a little bit intimidating, doesn't it? Yeah, it's pretty it's scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've got to remember that you've got to start somewhere. Yeah. You can't start at this level no. when you're yeah. just learning any skill. So you've got to start somewhere. Exactly. And every time you do it now, it's going to get easier and you're going to get better and better and better until you make it to the Olympics. <laughs> you also like got to remember the first time you do something is always the worst. Yeah. yeah. First time is the worst time. Always. Yeah. yeah. Like, and you've done as you it said, now. it'll you've ease, done get it. easier, easier, it's easier. Get, easier. get better. So in terms of the different elements of breaking, we have four. So we've got top rock is when we're standing. Footwork is anything where I'm sort of in this position. Power moves are my dynamics, the spins, the head spins, all the crazy stuff. And then freezes are like handstands, headstands, baby freeze, or even poses are considered freezes. So with footwork, how I want you to start is we're gonna start in a position called zero position. So it's like a squat, but I want you to keep your heels off the floor. Next one, uh, what we're going to do first, this is called a kick out. What's it called? Kick out. Kick out. So I want you to put your right hand on the floor. And it can be flat hand if you want to, but you'll notice that Rachel or I might put our fingertips on the floor like this. It just gives us a little bit more uh, lightness and we try to keep our weight in our feet rather than our hands too much. So from here, all I want you to do is you're going to kick your feet out to the side and then bring them back in. Yeah. Easy, this is a kick out. And then we try the other side. So switch your hands. Yeah, kick out. Bring it back in. Good. Let's see if we can do two on each side. So we're gonna go one, two, change, one, two. Here we go, ready? Right hand first. Five, six, ready, we go. 
out, in, out, switch, go again, out, in, out, in, nice. Now I want you to try it by putting either a hand, you can put it on your head like this, or like this, or like this, something with a little bit more character. Here we go, five, six, ready, go. One, two, three, other side, one, two, three, freeze. Nice, awesome. Take a little break, shake your legs out. Ooh. Yeah, I'm getting warm. Another one. What you learn? The next one is called a CC. What's it called? CC. CC. I'll show you this one. So it's a version of a kick out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick one leg out and I'm going to put both my hands on the same side of that leg. I'm going to kick this leg up and I bring my feet back to the middle. Watch again. So I go here. I can do the other side. I can do one hand. Cool. We try it together. Cool. Here we go. Zero position. Right leg comes out. Both hands go onto this side. This leg is going to kick up. Yep. Bring it back in. Feet together. Good. Other side. Left leg out. Both hands over, kick up, feet back to the middle. Good. Now we're going to do two. So we're going to do one on each side. Just watch. I'm going to go one and two, three and four. Ready? Five, six, ready, go. One and two, three and four. Nice. Try that again. Ready, go. One and two. Three and four. Awesome. Remember, it's not about getting it perfect. It's just about getting it started. Last one for good luck. Here we go. Five, six, ready, go. One and two, three and four. Have a rest. It's hard. It's hard. I'll go slow. So Right hand, hip, elbow goes in the hip. Left hand, elbow goes on the opposite knee. Fingers point away from each other. So away from each other, yep. Hands go to the floor. Lean and see if I can catch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Nice. Also, if you feel really confident, if you think you got it on the first one, then I want you to play with shapes with your legs, right? So for example, the first one is here. Then I can bring my knees together and switch. Can bring my legs out. I can switch them like this, back in. So if you, if you feel confident with the first one, then that's how we can make it harder. Kabish, 
All right, let's do it. Two minutes on the clock. Have a go. And if you need help, definitely put your hands up. Yeah, 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 that's it, that's it, nice. And push your head into the floor. So you want to push your head into the floor. Head has to go into the floor, yeah? So that means my head has to go a little bit further away from my body. Does that make sense? Try. Yeah, head goes far away, head goes further, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, that's it, there you go Yeah, 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 that's it, nice. Yay! And the exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Did you get it? Don't help. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's it. Nice. Just learning a few of the steps from you guys, knowing how hard they are just to do, you know, the two step and the, you know, all the other stuff that I couldn't even get. Knowing how hard they are and then watching you guys do it and you make it look so easy, but it gives me a new understanding and a new appreciation of how hard it actually is. And then you guys jumped up to here and then I was like, was he gonna hurt himself? And bang, straight into a dance move. Breaking, but not the body. Breaking, yeah. breaking the moves and not the body. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming to teach us breaking today and I think there's going to be a whole host of new little kids out there in Australia and all around the world getting into breaking after this. So thank you for that. Kids, we'll see you on a brand new episode of Aussie this weekend. Until then, stay keen, keep those moves going. If you haven't already, make sure you get a great up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon, kids. And until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine.